Hey everyone, it's Lisa from the blog FarmhouseOnMoon.com and today I'm going to be sharing a long-awaited project that we dreamt up over a year ago and that is our in-kitchen home office. If you've been following along a while, you might remember our Victorian farmhouse tour whenever we first moved in in January of 2000. 19 so a year and a half ago at this point at the time we had five kids we now have six and this house although fairly spacious at 2400 square feet only has four bedrooms and technically only three um, now there's a lot of ways that we could make the living room a bedroom but we don't really want to go there so with being a full-time work-at-home family, I do blogging full-time from home, and my husband stays home and helps. We needed a space for camera gear, computers, printers, um, all the stuff that goes with having an office, shipping supplies, and there really wasn't a dedicated space to do that in. The best solution that we could come up with, there was an open nook in the kitchen. Before, when we first moved in, there was just a little sideboard buffet type of thing sitting there. And I knew that that would be a good place to put my computer in the meantime, but I always thought that that would be a really great place for an office. So whenever we designed our kitchen plans, I had a friend, Paige from Farmhouse Vernacular, draw up a design for this nook because I wanted to utilize every square inch of this space. It was just dead wasted space. Now, we think that at some point this kitchen was opened up and that maybe it would have been closed before, but as a result, whenever they opened it up, there were structural supports. It just left an area that's about 100 inches wide by about 24 inches deep. So to me, the perfect spot for full-blown cabinetry to where when you walk in this kitchen to the left, instead of there being like a hollow carved out area, it's just a wall of cabinets. And I love how it turned out. These are the original design plans. This has been over a year ago that I had Paige design this, actually. She has it dated at 3-10-2019. So yeah, well over a year ago for this to come to fruition. But we designed it with an antique vibe in mind. So I used the same latches that I used on the cabinetry in the main kitchen area. I also decided to go with exposed hinges versus just the hidden ones. I wanted it to look like an antique piece of furniture. And all of the antique hutches in our house and armoires, they have those exposed hinges. So I knew that it would look appropriate for these to have that as well. We made the cabinets in the same wood and stain color as our kitchen island or kitchen table, so that way it would match. We also opted to do inset cabinet doors because a lot of my antique pieces that this is inspired by do also have inset doors. I really needed it to function like an office with tons of space, but I also did not want it to look out of place in the home. So the first main area when you look at it are the two large doors in the middle. This is where the computer goes. We got the same quartz countertops that we got in the rest of the kitchen, and we just had a hole cut out. Whenever we ordered the counters, we made it to where there was a hole for my computer cord. We had an electrician first come and add a bunch of outlets so that I could house both printers and the computer and we actually had this thing built in stages so several months ago we had the base cabinets built they are deeper than the upper ones then we had the quartz countertops put on and then finally uh, in the last couple weeks the cabinet maker came and he installed the uppers which basically they sit on the counter further back so they are less deep than the base. This is totally the look that I was going for. And then we made it to where the doors on the bottom could open up for me to put my feet so I could sit like an office and then the computer above that. We also did two pull-out drawers to the right and the left of the chair area. And this is for my printers and copiers. I have one that I use as a copier it has toner, it's black and white, and then I have one that's like a full-blown colored printer. And so I have both of them, and then I created a little shipping station above one of my printers where I have the postal scale, and then I have paper and labels. And then above that, I have envelopes and my stamp and any packing tape. I tried to create organized areas 
by category. I find that I'm not the most organized person so I just start putting things after I play with it for a while. But the one way that I feel like this office will stay fairly organized is I didn't stuff it full. There's actually tons of open space. I still haven't even put anything in the all the way upper cabinets at all. Now of course you can't really reach them so Practically, you really only want to keep things in there that you wouldn't want to access very often. So I'm going to still figure out what to put in there, but at the moment, there's really nothing that needs a home, which is great. I'm fine with open cabinets because that's just less to organize. Now, to the left of the computer, I use it as storage for my gear. So I have cameras, tripods, lights, my mic. It used to all be shoved in the one closet in the house, which is the closet below the steps. And it was just really difficult to get in there and get my stuff out. So I really wanted a place to put all of that. And when it's all broken down, it can fit in there, which is perfect because it keeps all of my business blog stuff in one designated spot. Also to the right of the computer on the bottom shelf, I have a spot where I keep things that I'm currently working on. So I have some paint because I'm working on a project for the blog that I'm filming. And I want that paint accessible because I'm working on that currently, but I also don't want it right in the way. So before I was storing anything that we are currently working on, like if I have a sponsored post and somebody sent me something to photograph, I would keep everything that I was currently working on for the blog on the dining room table. And now I have a spot here where if it's something that pertains to the blog, pertains to the business, I just keep it in here. So you'll see that I have uh, some soap because I'm working with a company to help them promote their soaps. So that is going to go in here. Once I take pictures, it'll go you know, where it goes, where we keep soap, which is the bathroom. But for now, it will be there. I also have a little projector thing because I'm working on a sponsored Instagram post. So that is really nice to have a space to put my current blog work slash sponsorships. Above my envelopes and shipping area, I use some antique ironstone pieces to store my batteries. I have tons of camera batteries because I have three different cameras. There's battery chargers. I'm keeping them all housed in there. I also have a old copper container that I'm keeping my hard drives in because I have tons of hard drives with all of the content that I create. Whenever we had the electrician come and get this all office ready, we also had him put in some, I don't even know what the word is for it, but you know how whenever you plug in your phone, you have the USB port that goes into a little block. Well, it's just the USB port, so you can plug in and charge things without the blocks. So we had that put in where the outlet is, where the chair is, and that's really great because I can charge my wireless headphones. I have an Android charger there that works for one of my camera batteries. And it's just like a charging station where I can leave things plugged in all the time because it closes and the kids can't get into it. So it's wonderful. Now, as far as an office chair, we ran into a bit of an issue because we plan on there not being any kind of toe kick at the bottom so that I could push my chair all the way in. But since this is an 1860s home, we found that the floors were definitely not level. And so our cabinet maker, he scribed a piece to make it all look really perfect and level. But he told me that if we wanted it to just be doors at the bottom, it would look all wonky and weird. He said he could cut a little bit off the bottom and so there'd be a gap and I did not like that idea at all. So I decided to just do the little toe kick and I actually really love it because I can still put my feet inside even if the chair can't go underneath the desk. So to me, it's totally workable. I like how it is. I also like that if we ever sold this house, which we have no plans to do, but I am totally a keep my options open type of person. I love the idea that someone, if they don't have a need for an in-home office or if they don't have a bunch of kids, they could make something else an office. This could just be normal cabinetry to store whatever you need to store in your kitchen. So I like the idea that this does look like normal built-in cabinetry, though it's functioning as a nice office for us, it wouldn't have to if someone else wanted it to just be kitchen storage. It could actually be like a really wonderful spot for a baking station. So you could put the KitchenAid mixer where the plug goes through the quartz and then put all of your baking stuff and have like a counter there. It'd be great. But for me, of course, it's going to stay in office. Also, I was going to get a designated office chair but I decided that since the dining table is right by it, and we already have too many chairs in this kitchen as it is with having six kids and two adults, so eight people, and the kids always are pushing chairs around that I didn't really want an extra chair. So for now, in this season of life, I'm just going to take the chair from the table 
and use it when I need to and then put it back whenever I'm not using it because I'm not sitting here at my computer very often and also you know we obviously I would never be working during meal time so this is really great because whenever it's all closed and I'm not sitting at the computer working which is a majority of the time it just is a nice place to house all of my business things Right, well thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed seeing how I've organized my brand new in-kitchen office. If you're brand new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. I make two videos every week on food from scratch, natural living, and a handmade home. Thank you so much for stopping by the farmhouse.